This video is brought to you in part by Squarespace. Maybe you want a better place to host your photos outside of Instagram. Squarespace is the place to do it. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing you guys my tricks and secrets on how I get my iPhone photos to go from looking like this to this super simple utilizing Adobe Lightroom mobile. So if you guys don't have the app, download the app and uh, I'll share with you how to just make this magic. Okay, so what you're gonna do is download Adobe Lightroom CC. I have a link to it in the description below. Once you've downloaded it, put it onto your cell phone and let's get into it. Now the big thing is I'm gonna be utilizing this number one tool right here, which is the selective tool. This is very helpful. If you guys don't have the paid version of CC, you won't be able to use it. So get it, then watch this tutorial because it's gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna first of all make some uh, subtle adjustments through this. Um, basically, I love the photo, I love the look of it, and there's a lot of detail going on, but it's not really blowing up the way I want it to. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go in here, boost up my contrast, just because I'm in love with doing contrast adjustments. Second thing that I'm gonna play around with is just play around with the exposure, maybe brighten it up a little bit, make sure everything's kind of uh, available to see. Maybe in these shadows, maybe bring out some of the shadows so there's a little bit more detail if we go compare this to this, looking a little bit better, a little bit crisper. Now these changes are totally up to you. Make it the way you like it. Um, now, one of my favorite things is I love having the sharpening just up a tiny bit. Now with iPhone photos, you don't wanna crank up your sharpening because if you do, let's just crank it up, it's gonna look really digitally. Um, like I don't like this super digital look. So what I'm going to do is take the sharpening all the way down. Take the sharpening all the way down and just have it at about nine. That way it's not looking super digital, but we're still getting a little bit more detail. Now, actually one of my favorite things to do is to boost up the clarity. Now what I'm gonna do is crank this up just to show you guys what it looks like the whole way up. That's a little intense, a little too dramatic and moody. I'm just gonna boost up that clarity just a little bit so that we have a little bit more detail within the shadows. It gets a little bit more contrasty, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the next thing that we're gonna play around with uh, within this image is going into a vignette and adding just a subtle vignette by dragging it down to the left. If you drag it to the right, we kind of get this white vignette. That's not what we want. We're just gonna go a subtle vignette in there. Now comparing. Boom, kaboom, it's already looking super epic, but it's not looking epic enough, and now I'm gonna blow you guys away with this selective tool. Um, now that it's kind of looking the way that I want, um, basically what I'll do is I'll click onto this selective tool, I'm gonna press the plus button in the top corner there, it's gonna open up this drop down, and then I'm gonna press this paintbrush. Now what this is going to do, like Photoshop, is I can now just paint in the area that I want affected. Now I just wanna play around with the sky here, so I'm just gonna go into the sky, kind of sloppily color this in. Do not worry, it is not going to be all red. And just paint around my head as good as possible. And now what I can do is go into, let's say my color, and now really pull out the blue in this sky. So if I just drag this down, whoa, we can go super dramatic, and obviously that looks a little too nuts, but we can just crank it up a little bit more bluish. Um, and what I want is actually to give that sky maybe a little bit more of a teal look. So what I can do is I'll scroll down and I'll just go into the color here, and just by playing around with this, I'll find the teal that I want. That's looking pretty good. Boom, so the sky is looking a little bit more moody and what I can actually do once it's selected, I'll just make sure it's selected by clicking the little diamond there, is go into effects, click dehaze, and what that's going to do is just give a little bit more texture into that sky. Now it's looking really dark, so what I might go to is into my um, lighting mode, drag up my exposure so it's not too much of an eyesore, and there we have it. Now the sky's looking really pungent, really epic. Now just to do a couple other adjustments with the selection tool, I'm gonna press plus, grab the paintbrush here, and just in some areas that I think need to be fine-tuned, um, I would actually say that possibly bring a little bit more light and um, attention to some of these rocks. So just by clicking selection, pressing light, I can boost up the exposure just a little bit so it gives it more of an HDR type look. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little extra here. I'm just gonna scale into my image and now I'm just gonna make some adjustments and add a little bit more lighting 
onto my skin and almost will look like we had a, a, a real light source. And just by going into exposure, I'll just boost it up a little bit. So therefore, it looks like there's a little bit more sunlight on my skin in here. And that's already looking so much cooler. And just to do a couple more fine-tuned adjustments, I'm gonna go into the selection tool one more time, make one more selection. And uh, that is going to be to a, just add a little bit of brightness to my shirt here. So now by going to light, boosting up that exposure, Boom, now it looks like there's a little bit more light, there's a little bit more depth, and the photo actually looks like we had like a full team. So if we do the before and after, here's what we've got. This is before, this is after. Now it looks a lot more cinematic, a lot more uh, powerful and pungent. Uh, and basically you can go on with this, playing around with different color modes, different lightings, but having that selection tool available on your toolkit is so helpful when it comes to editing a photo, thumbnail, thing for Instagram. This was shot on my cell phone. Whoops, I just touched my microphone. If you guys want to actually cheat depth within your photo, you can make it look like it's shot on, let's say, like a better lens. Another really great thing you can do with the selection tool is by going into here, clicking select, we're going to paintbrush in something. And basically, we're just going to select the areas that would probably be out of focus if we shot this on, let's say, a 50 mil. So probably be stuff that's a little bit closer. Uh, maybe these couple rocks here, some of these rocks over here, and then probably the sky will be a little bit out of focus. So let's just capture this. And I know you're saying, like, Zach, you're totally cheating. This isn't right. But I mean, this is just a stylized photo. It's making my cell phone photo. Just stop judging me, okay? Anyway, detail. We're going to go down to sharpness. We're going to drag that down just a little bit. Don't have to go super crazy. And then what I actually might even do is go into here and lower down the clarity a little bit so it's not as in focus. If we click this, boom, we've added just a tiny bit of out of focusness. It's even so hard to see, but if you guys wanna see what it looks like just super intense, we'll just drag that right down. And now we've got just a little bit more of a out of focus foreground, out of focus background, with the quick selection. So if you guys are wanting to boost that up and make it look a little bit more higher quality, a little bit more depth, a really good technique to utilize. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and want to take a look at some more, highly recommend giving me a subscribe. That photo was from this place called Tofino that I just came from and I absolutely fell in love with this place. I made a little short film that I'll be releasing within a couple days or maybe it's already released. Check that in the uh, description below if it's there. Um, but the whole point of this video and the whole point of capturing and editing photos is to capture the essence and feeling of where you were. Now, if that means that you have to manipulate it or play around with the colors or do some selective edits, as long as it's convey conveying the message of how it felt to be there, I think adding different filters, stylizing things uh, so that it represents your artistic vision of what that place looks like is totally cool. If you, know, you wanna add in fairies or buzzing bees in the background or put fire and flames around you, because that's the way it felt when you were there, I think you have every right to because it's the same way as adding visual effects to a movie. It's the same premise as putting a digital character or digital manipulation into video. Always recognize that the reason why we're artists and the reason why we create content is to express our message and story behind our photos, videos, artistic drawings. So whatever that is, for me, it's doing these like cool selective edits. And if you guys are interested in seeing a little bit more of my work, um, I have it hosted on our website, blackomedia.ca. And that whole website has been built off of Squarespace. Um, if you guys are interested in making a website similar to ours, which is blackomedia.ca, I'd highly recommend utilizing Squarespace as a place to do that. Um, we it, did, it took a couple days to design and develop our site. And we, were get, we were able to get it to look exactly the way we want it first try, first thing out of the gate. So if you want a really responsive website with a slick design, really great customer service, as well as multiple different layouts. So whether it's for your Instagram photos or the videos that you're making, Squarespace is the place to build it. And if you use the offer code RAMELIN at checkout, you can receive 10% off your purchase. So that's it, that's all. See you guys later. Thanks for watching and keep making some great stuff.